right, which was the digastric. The digastric has two heads, right, the digastric. And then in between the two heads of the digastric, the sort of triangular shaped muscle is the mylohyoid. These were all on the midterm, mm -hmm. so you just have to identify them. You don't have to know anything else about these. Okay, the big strap in the middle here is called the sternohyoid. It's going from the sternum to the hyoid bone. Then lateral to that, okay, you have two straps of muscle. You have the sternothyroid, which goes from the sternum to the thyroid cartilage of the larynx. And then you have the little loop, which is called the thyrohyoid. All right. Or I'll show I'll go over okay. it again. So you have the sternothyroid and the thyrohyoid. Okay, and then remember you had the sort of V-neck collar. All right, it's not the greatest here. got a little cut up, but uh, remember the part that's medial on this side of the jugular vein is called the sternomastoid, and the part lateral to the jugular vein is called the clitomastoid. All right, I'll find a different cat for, for those two. Uh, and then going back to the first dissection we did, the cheek muscle is called the masseter. That's one of the chewing muscles. And then the muscle on the, behind the ear, right, on the upper part of the head, is called the temporalis because it originates on the temporal bone. So the temporalis is here on the upper part of the head, and the masseter is the cheek muscle, and they're both involved in uh, chewing, moving the mandible. Okay.